I was browsing around the site the other day and as I scrolled down, I came across this little grid section where they have this nice little dot pattern behind each one of these cards. And it reminded me of a really cool trick you can use using the background property in order to create these repeatable patterns like this. So in today's video, I thought I'd show you how that works. So here inside the customizer, I have a pretty simple layout set up. This is just a section with three cards across it and each one of the three cards, I gave the same class of BG hyphen dots. So we'll go ahead and select that. And we're gonna start off by giving this a background image. And what we want here is a radial gradient. So I've typed in radial hyphen gradient and then open and close my parentheses and put my cursor back in between those two parentheses. It's here that we'll be able to select both the size and the color of our dot pattern. So I'm gonna exaggerate this just a bit to make it easy to see on the screen share. And I'll select gray one pixel, put a comma, and then we're gonna do transparent one pixel so we match that same size. Now we don't see anything on the screen quite yet, and that's because we need to set up both our background size and background position. So we'll start with background hyphen size. We're gonna do 20 pixels, 20 pixels. This is gonna set the space in between each one of our dots. And then we can set our background hyphen position. We'll just set this to center to make sure it's centered inside of our card. And just like that, we've created this nice dot pattern for the background of these cards. Now one neat trick is to offset each row of these dots and we can do that pretty simply here by just going back into our background image declaration and we're gonna do a second radial gradient. So I'm just gonna copy this first one here, put a comma after it, a space, and then paste in that same gradient again. Now we have this background image gradient being repeated and all we have to do is change our background position here. I'm gonna do zero space zero comma 10 pixels space 10 pixels. So now you can see the dots are actually offset each row. It creates a nice little diamond pattern in here. And this is just done by offsetting each row of this background position over by 10 pixels since we have 20 pixels of space in here. Basically, you just wanna make sure that this background position is half of whatever this background size is here. So if I change this to something like 40 pixels by 40 pixels, which puts more space in between each one of the dots, I'd wanna change this to 20 pixels and 20 pixels just to keep that pattern nice and consistent. There's actually this cool site that will give you a lot of different patterns you can use where you can change the background color, the front color, the opacity, and the spacing. And then you can just use this copy CSS code to copy all that code to your clipboard. Kevin Powell also did a really nice video where you can explore this technique even further. I'll leave the links to both of those resources down in the video description below, along with the code I used in today's video. What I love about this trick is it's a super lightweight way to add some texture to your pages. Hopefully you learned something in today's video. If you did, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. And if you wanna make sure to catch the next one, hit subscribe and we'll see you then.